Welcome back. Good morning. Now, yeah, it's kind of brunch. Yeah, maybe a lunchtime lineup. Okay, uh, finished up with the Sound and Fury yesterday. It actually seemed like it went pretty well. I, I thought it was a good reaction. Powerful stuff. Uh, I am already all over the comments. Thank you. Y&T. That's what it... See, I go to work and I text Ange. I'm like, hey, I think I left the heat on. I forgot this. I did that. Uh, well... Y and T that got lost in the mix yesterday, and that was uh, right in the comments. So, oh, excuse me, yeah, midnight in Tokyo. So then we got some Y and T. Uh, that works. Um, one of that was right in the the request from you. That's what, what I forgot. So uh, that's a good place to start. We found uh, a best of Y and T eighty one to eighty five. I think that would be right around the time. Uh, I was enjoying uh, uh, the mean streak and other stuff. Maybe not. Yeah, no, that's in there. Uh, I do. Mm, yeah, no, it's a good time. Good time to be reminded or forget or just get back to. And uh, be in the comments, got a little love for Hank 3. Just as good a time as that as any. Uh, no, I actually, uh, the artist left something in my comments, and I think it was... Uh, and don't give no Fs about what other people think. Hey, I, I like that advice. Uh, just um, <clears throat> through other sources, I, I listened to, to Hank 3. And uh, through my own uh, 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 appreciation, I keep going back. So just a reminder in the comments that I uh, uh, appreciate... Uh, uh, so glad you're doing some Hank 3. Well, you know what? We'll do some more. We'll add that to the list right now. That works out perfect. So uh, Hank Williams 3, uh, Hank 3, Mississippi Mud. And uh, I can't remember, <clears throat> especially with uh, some uh, Wikipedia getting in uh, the mainstream uh, news. Uh, I can't remember which album is the he did and didn't care for. I don't know if it's this one or not. But what I think is this. I think, in the end, it comes down to, in the comments, someone watching to Hank 3, uh, this is true outlaw country, keep digging, it gets better. Well, I, 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 uh, I figure I will uh, slog my way through the Mississippi mud, being I just drove my way up from the south and was uh, down in, uh, you know, in close proximity of the Mississippi itself. You know, it's a loose connection, but it's what I got. So off Lovesick Broke and Drifting, uh, we got Mississippi Mud that uh, I'll come up here in a bit. And to round this off, we got a Barefoot, barefoot Envelope 442 uh, is all over the comments in the Hank 3. So this is why we're here. That's why we're doing it. And I appreciate you taking the time checking out uh, some of the reactions uh yeah it's very cool and i i think that's is that's it that's how simple it gets uh uh metal crusader and uh mike d mike d looking for some slim whitman and uh, ha uh crusader i saw the new album cover uh let's see um they put out the new uh Take a peek here. Where is it? Ah, uh, no, that's not it. Where, where is it? Uh, where is it? Posts. Um, huh. I think that goes under media. Ah, uh, yeah, I think that goes under Avenge the Fallen album picture release album cover. Ah, uh, it, it looks like uh, I said Hector. I, I forgot. I'm uh, sorry about that. But it looks like he's doing his thing. Uh, and all of my D&D uh, uh, &D, uh, magic and other uh, mythological gaming references aside. Good stuff. Cool. I'm actually looking forward to it very much. Uh, really just keep enjoying uh, the music. Um, Mike D. Yes. Uh, uh, first, I watched all the clips that went around. And I, I, I think... I think it's super interesting. Um, I actually watched most of the interview. 
I watch most of the Joe Rogan interviews. Uh, I, I think he's, uh, is there like the, like Tim pool that happened? It's that whole, I really believe I'm in the left cause I hate war and I hate this and I wish that would change. And then they, they realize that, that how do they like to put it? The Overton window has been pushed so far left that now they're, you know, back to the center and, and all that being, I don't care about all that. Right. I just think most of his positions, uh, are relatable to me. Uh, I can regurgitate a Joe Rogan interview at work and, uh, you know, get a whole lot of co-signing on that. And uh, who doesn't like that? So, um, and yeah, so de definitely check that out. Check that out. Uh, yeah, um, and, and here's the thing. Uh, the offspring uh, right below it, Mike D as well. Um <clears throat> I listened to some of that, and it looked like the drummer, he got pushed into a corner, and who knows what contractual arrangement they signed with Lucifer himself to get the touring arrangements and all the gigs they had. I'm kidding. But um, shit happens. Uh, it doesn't change how cool the music was or is. You know, just uh, shining a light on it all. You know, they, they, didn't, uh, they didn't win at the game of life. They got, yeah, but someone, you know, relieved them of all their um, school burden and other sort of liabilities and saddled that up on, uh, you know, the working class anyway. So, hey, what rebellion, what, what rebellion they stand for. But the music's kick ass. So uh, I think, hey, short, sweet, we'll keep it the way it is. Uh, oh, holy shit, that's appropriate. We do have at least one more. And I know things haven't been, uh, uh, there should be some uh, Miss Fabian or something other coming soon, but uh, some of the major supporters, commenters on the channel are getting a little bit of, you know, get, getting a little bit of theirs. And this is sort of an ass backwards thing, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, in a Cigarettes After Sex, Mike D, uh, Haunting Melody, Nice Dude, uh, that's from uh, Lauren at work. He's got the, the surf gear and the, the beach wear and uh, he's actually uh, enjoying enjoy the times we get to work together. Just in case he checks this one out. I think he gave me a subscribe. Yeah, he'll learn the valuable life lesson of turning off the notification tab button, bell, whatever's. Uh, but yeah, hey, he's got one more today. We got, uh, where is it? Is it? Killing joke uh, in the 80s. That's uh, And uh, being, he, he did tell me uh, to check out the video uh, with the hosting and this, that, the other. Like I mentioned to him, it might end up on Patreon. I don't know. Got lucky yesterday, but it's a crapshoot. In the game of life, it's a big craps table. And uh, most of the times you're coming up, snake guys. Uh, <laughs> but um, killing joke 80s. Now, he's got in the 80s, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing this one. Look, a complicated backdrop there. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. What's it, the 25th? Uh, 420 was not that long ago. Less than no. It's not that I, I set my time to that, but, you know, it was just then. Uh, I'm going to get uh, the bus warmed up, myself ready to go. Uh, hey, anybody in the, our neck of the woods, uh, I was asking the boss last night because I'm not, uh, these things get really, I don't want it to get ruined and stained greasy. I don't like looking greasy. I like looking clean and the food being palatable. palatable. So uh, you're in the neck of the woods. Hey, stop on by, grab a burger. Uh, what do we got tonight? I think taco special. Taco and a beer. I mean, you know, that's still uh, the cornerstone of some American dinners. Probably, you know, other places too, but you know, I, I know where I live. That's it. Hey, uh, I don't have any killing jokes at all. Uh, I'm not killing it one bit. <clears throat> Limping my way through it, but uh, better luck next time. All right. Till then, uh, see you over in the reactions much sooner than later.